So Trump is absolutely dominating the polls, which is why they have all these indictments going on right now. Uh, most people know the, the they're not going to hold any water. Supreme Court will probably overturn some of them, uh, that, which is why they are going. They're just like, look, we, we can't stop them. We tried everything we possibly could. Nothing's working. Yo, let's just straight up take them off the ballot in Colorado and uh, in Maine. And now there's other states talking about it. Uh, let's just straight up remove them. If we remove him, nobody can vote for him and he can't win. Right? It's, it's crazy. I've never seen anything like this or any other human being in existence. It is wild to say the least. And it just shows that they are terrified of Trump. Terrified. You know, they always talk about, no, it's DeSantis or one of these other candidates that they're the most afraid. There's no evidence of that whatsoever in the slightest. And uh, all polls are showing a tremendous lead for Trump, religious groups, all that. Uh, and, and a lot of people on the left just can't take it. They can't deny it. And they're having a hard time accepting it. Uh, Morning Joe, which has uh, a lot of, uh, you know, a bunch of retards on the show. It's a horrible show. Uh, his wife, I think it is his wife, Crazy Mika, uh, uh, is having a hard time swallowing the fact that evangelicals overwhelmingly are supporting Trump. New polling shows former President Trump making larger inroads with two key groups when compared to 2016. Evangelicals and first-time caucus goers. She had a hard NBC time getting News that National out. Local correspondent Steve Gornacki is with us from the big board. Steve, what are the latest polls showing us about Trump's gain with these two groups? I'm just, I, I'm, I'm I have She's no about the words. Freaking pop. Steve, evangelical voters at this point. It, it's a just in terms of the numbers on this. I'll show you here in a second. It is a dramatic. Uh, pick your adjective, dramatic turnaround, I'll, I'll say, since 2016 in terms of where Trump stands with the evangelicals. We've seen this nationally, and I think it's the biggest story in Iowa. Just as a refresher, eight years Because people realize that Trump fought for uh, religious rights more than any other Republican in U.S. history. He's like, oh, I don't think he's a real Christian. and that He probably isn't. I mean, <laughs> he's, a, he's a Hollywood, New York businessman. But he, he recognizes the importance of religion. He has fought for it. And as I say, we're not electing the next pope or priest of the United States of America. Policies are policies, and he had some of the best in U.S. history, in my opinion, the best U.S. president we've ever had. And he said, well, I, I think Trump is really this. Or, it doesn't matter. You can say whatever you want, but results are results. He has fought for relig uh, religious rights uh, uh, overall uh, than any other person in U.S. history. That is enough for me. And even Bush, who was an uh, outspoken Christian, didn't even fight this much for Christianity and Judaism and many other religions. Uh, Trump has done it. He's proven it. Um, and he's the reason a lot of people like me are going to go and cast our vote for Trump. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you guys want to support this video. I appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Social media linked in the description below. I'll see you guys next time.